Hello and welcome to this Zwift Run live stream. My name is Stephen. I'm a Zwift ambassador, a community run leader and your host today. There's a countdown clock up there showing how long to go before the start of the main event. So you've probably got time to tidy the kitchen, take the trash out and grab yourself a drink before we get going. If you've never seen Zwift before, it's an online game where athletes from all over the world train, compete against and socialise with each other live and in real time. All you need to take part is a foot pod, an internet connection, access to a treadmill and a device on which to run the Zwift app. You can use a computer, an iPad, an iPhone, a high-end Android device. Zwift even works on Apple TV. If you have a smart treadmill, you don't even need a foot pod as your treadmill will send your speed direct to Zwift. Once you've logged in and made sure your equipment is connected, you can join others live for structured group workouts or social runs. You could do a solo workout or take part in one of the many in-game challenges. You could also pit yourself against people from all over the world in a race. There are various Zwift worlds. Some are based on existing places like London, New York, Innsbruck, Richmond, Virginia and Harrogate in the UK. But the biggest world is the fictional Watopia, where you can run in glass tunnels underwater, through the middle of a volcano, in a jungle, up to the top of a snow-capped mountain and on country trails. Watopia is where the Zwift developers let their imagination fly. Like any computer game, the more you run, the higher up the levels you climb and the more virtual goodies you require. If you're a regular treadmill runner, Zwift is going to transform your training. If you're a hater, Zwift is going to change the way you think about indoor running. Before we go any further, if you're watching on YouTube, please click that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time we go live on this channel. If you're watching on Facebook, please click the like button on the Film My Run page. Film My Run is also my other YouTube channel where I post real world runs. So if you're interested in marathons, ultra running, 10Ks or triathlons, you'll find product reviews, interviews and races over on that channel. I've been running all my life. I started running long distance races in 2011 when I ran my first half marathon and that was followed a year later by my first marathon in Paris. I've run the Paris Marathon every year since and have now run well over 100 marathons and ultras. I started using Zwift at the beginning of 2015 when indoor cycling and smart trainers really took off. In the early days, I held the long distance record for cycling of 500 kilometers on Zwift for about 48 hours. And when running started in 2016, I was the first person to run a marathon on Zwift. So if you have any questions about Zwift, if I don't know the answer, I probably know somebody who does. Okay, so now you can go and take the trash out and get that drink. And make sure you keep an eye on that countdown and be back in time for the start proper. Well, go on then. Don't just sit there gawping at me. Basically, this message is going to go around in a loop again and again until the start of the run. So you may as well go and do something constructive in the meantime. Hello and welcome to this Zwift Run live stream. My name is Stephen. I'm a Zwift ambassador, a community run leader and your host today. There's a countdown clock up there showing how long to go before the start of the main event. So you've probably got time to tidy the kitchen, take the trash out and grab yourself a drink before we get going. If you've never seen Zwift before, it's an online game where athletes from all over the world train, compete against and socialise with each other live and in real time. All you need to take part is a foot pod, an internet connection, access to a treadmill and a device on which to run the Zwift app. You can use a computer, an iPad, an iPhone, a high-end Android device. Zwift even works on Apple TV. If you have a smart treadmill, you don't even need a foot pod as your treadmill will send your speed direct to Zwift. Once you've logged in and made sure your equipment is connected, you can join others live for structured group workouts or social runs. You could do a solo workout or take part in one of the many in-game challenges. You could also pit yourself against people from all over the world in a race. 
There are various Zwift worlds. Some are based on existing places like London, New York, Innsbruck, Richmond, Virginia, and Harrogate in the UK. But the biggest world is the fictional Watopia, where you can run in glass tunnels underwater, through the middle of a volcano, in a jungle, up to the top of a snow-capped mountain, and on country trails. Watopia is where the Zwift developers let their imagination fly. Like any computer game, the more you run, the higher up the levels you climb, and the more virtual goodies you require. If you're a regular treadmill runner, Zwift is going to transform your training. If you're a hater, Zwift is going to change the way you think about indoor running. Before we go any further, if you're watching on YouTube, please click that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time we go live on this channel. If you're watching on Facebook, please click the like button on the Film My Run page. Film My Run is also my other YouTube channel where I post real world runs. So if you're interested in marathons, ultra running, 10Ks or triathlons, you'll find product reviews, interviews and races over on that channel. I've been running all my life. I started running long distance races in 2011 when I ran my first half marathon and that was followed a year later by my first marathon in Paris. I've run the Paris Marathon every year since and have now run well over 100 marathons and ultras. I started using Zwift at the beginning of 2015 when indoor cycling and smart trainers really took off. In the early days I held the long distance record for cycling of 500 kilometers on Zwift for about 48 hours. And when running started in 2016, I was the first person to run a marathon on Zwift. So if you have any questions about Zwift, if I don't know the answer, I probably know somebody who does. Okay, so now you can go and take the trash out and get that drink. And make sure you keep an eye on that countdown and be back in time for the start proper. just sit there gawping at me. Basically this message is going to go around in a loop again and again until the start of the run so you may as well go and do something constructive in the meantime. Hello and welcome to this Swift Run live stream. My name is Stephen. I'm a Zwift ambassador, a community run leader and your host today. There's a countdown clock up there showing how long to go before the start of the main event. So you've probably got time to tidy the kitchen, take the trash out and grab yourself a drink before we get going. If you've never seen Zwift before, it's an online game where athletes from all over the world train, compete against and socialise with each other live and in real time. All you need to take part is a foot pod, an internet connection, access to a treadmill and a device on which to run the Zwift app. You can use a computer, an iPad, an iPhone, a high-end Android device, Zwift even works on Apple TV. If you have a smart treadmill, you don't even need a foot pod as your treadmill will send your speed direct to Zwift. Once you've logged in and made sure your equipment is connected, you can join others live for structured group workouts or social runs. You could do a solo workout or take part in one of the many in-game challenges. You could also pit yourself against people from all over the world in a race. There are various Zwift worlds. Some are based on existing places like London, New York, Innsbruck, Richmond, Virginia and Harrogate in the UK. But the biggest world is the fictional Watopia, where you can run in glass tunnels underwater, through the middle of a volcano, in a jungle, up to the top of a snow-capped mountain and on country trails. Watopia is where the Zwift developers let their imagination fly. Like any computer game, the more you run, the higher up the levels you climb and the more virtual goodies you require. If you're a regular treadmill runner, Zwift is going to transform your training. If you're a hater, Zwift is going to change the way you think about indoor running. Before we go any further, if you're watching on YouTube, please click that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time we go live on this channel. If you're watching on Facebook, please click the like button on the Film My Run page. Film My Run is also my other YouTube channel where I post real world runs. So if you're interested in marathons, ultra running, 10Ks or triathlons, you'll find product reviews, interviews and races over on that channel. 
I've been running all my life. I started running long distance races in 2011 when I ran my first half marathon and that was followed a year later by my first marathon in Paris. I've run the Paris Marathon every year since and have now run well over 100 marathons and ultras. I started using Zwift at the beginning of 2015 when indoor cycling and smart trainers really took off. In the early days, I held the long distance record for cycling of 500 kilometers on Zwift for about 48 hours. And when running started in 2016, I was the first person to run a marathon on Zwift. So if you have any questions about Zwift, if I don't know the answer, I probably know somebody who does. Okay, so now you can go and take the trash out and get that drink. And make sure you keep an eye on that countdown and be back in time for the start proper. Well, go on then. Don't just sit there gawping at me. Basically, this message is going to go around in a loop again and again until the start of the run. So you may as well go and do something constructive in the meantime. Stephen Cousins and we are broadcasting live on Facebook and on YouTube. While we're getting everything ready, it would be absolutely awesome if you could go and subscribe to the Film My Run YouTube channel and also the Zwift Live YouTube channel. You can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Film My Run and also Twitter at Film My Run and the website is www.filmmyrun.com. It's very nearly time, so sit back, relax, don't forget to drop me a ride on and watch me do all the hard work. Good evening, or good afternoon, good morning, everyone, wherever you are. Uh, this is going to be a no talking fast 5k, so 20 minutes, maybe 19 minutes if we can get there as fast as we can for 5k. Bear with me one second. Uh, so we're off in about 20 seconds. Doesn't look like my stride foot pod is going to connect, so I can't show you power. It played up this morning as well, which is annoying. Oh well, we'll just have to disable the Zwift power then. And we're off. So, no talking, we're just running. (sighs) 
Hi, Tina. Hi, Kim. Hi, Wanda. Hello, Amy. Oh, Salim has joined us. Oh no, it's tomorrow. Salim can't do. <laughs> Looks like Darren's got technical problems. Amy has her outfit for tomorrow, good.
So if I'm going to get under 19 minutes, I do need to go faster in the second half. Marcus Holmes up ahead, Remy Jarige, Salim Adrian, and Marsan. Halfway now, halfway. Kevin, Kevin, are you joining tomorrow? Video 5K. Right, 2K to go. Shut up, Downey. <laughs> One mile to go. Heart rate 170 there. Five minutes to go. 
Sub-19 is the target. No, serious business, Kim. Last kilometer. Three minutes to go. Ninety seconds. One minute. Thirty seconds. Eighteen forty two.
Notice the time is correct. So when you do a 5k run or any distance in a meetup, you don't have you don't have the lead in. So when you don't have the lead in, that means there's no extra time to add on. So we've managed to do 1842 and the official result says 1842. Marcus Holmes says I'm toast. <laughs> Fantastic everyone, well done. I'll go and drop ride-ons later on because we're now back with all the cyclists. Look at the look how many Georgia sports German runners, a uh, German cyclists there are coming through with a Spanish one intermingled there as well. Uh, Marcus says my heart rate was sky high. So, well done Salim, excellent work buddy. Well done Marcus, well done Remy, Remy Jarij. I bet, I didn't see the results, but I bet Remy and Salim had a good old battle there. How did you both do, Rem, uh, Salim? Um, yeah, so, um, so ahead of me were, so I was fifth. So there was Remy and Salim and Marcus Holmes and then a, a, a Polish runner whose name now escapes me again. Um, Darren Van Ditt would have beaten me, obviously, but he had a technical problem at the beginning. So um, he is currently, he's still got 700 metres to go. Um, well done to all the others coming in. Let's go and have a look. Hang on. Let's go and have a look at these guys. So here's Darren. So we'll give Darren a ride on. And we can give Ake, Steve Akinson a ride on. Uh, Krista Sund, a ride on. Simon Fox, Amy Green. There's Jean Voldevold and John Fries together. No, no, John Fries just a bit behind. John is running with Amy. So Jean and Amy together, there they are. They've got 1.2k left to go. And um, Jean's heart rate is 157. Amy's not got her heart rate monitor on today. Uh, Fox uh, is on. Um, 170 BPM. Asunda is on 161 BPM. A uh, Stuart Fox is. Uh, Steve is on. Oh, he hasn't got his heart rate on. And neither has Darren. Come on, guys, get your heart rate monitors on. What's going on here? Uh, Jonathan, yeah, thank you. Uh, Stuart Fox is. Uh, Darren needs to get a smart treadmill. We know it's time. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so uh, Salim is at the gym tonight on a Techno Gym Excite. Interesting. Sarah Jacobson says, dropping a sub 25k like it's nothing. Hang on a minute. Dropping a sub 19 5k like it's nothing. If you please, Ms. Jacobson. <laughs> uh, yeah, the plan was, if I felt okay, to go for under 19. As, as you know, I'm not fit at the moment. I've reduced my mileage, so I'm not fit. So uh, anything near uh, to under 19, I'm very happy with. So 18.42 is, I'm absolutely delighted with that. Very happy indeed. Um, you know, my PB is something like 18.16 or something. That's outdoors. Outdoors PB is 18.16. Um, I don't think I was gonna get close to that tonight. <laughs> Um, but, you know, I did feel fairly comfortable in the first half, so, yeah, it was, we did all right. Right, Darren's just finished, well done Darren, good job buddy. Yeah, Marcus says next stop sub 18, well, I, do you know what, I'm going to train hard for the London Marathon for October. So if after that I can do a fast 5k outdoors, maybe um, in uh, November or maybe just before the marathon, September or something like that might might be a, a good opportunity to give sub 18 a go because I am going to start obviously I'm, I'm going to start training in January 
for a few long distance races coming up and then then it, over the summer we get into marathon training proper for another sub three marathon attempt um and and obviously as a result of that Mark, i should be quick at five and ten k so so we'll see what happens uh, so we're just watching stuart at the moment uh sorry steve steve at the moment i've got stuart in my head now stuart fox back here 200 meters to go for stuart fox uh steve akinson's just finishing uh, and John is there with Amy. Uh, they've got uh, 600 meters to go. So uh, well done to them. If you've got any questions, by the way, I will I will stay to the end now. With uh, I'll watch um, we'll watch Jorm and Amy come in and a bit of John Freeze as well. See how far we get with John Freeze. Hopefully we can see John to the end. Um, another plug for tomorrow night's video 5K, everyone. Please come and watch. Uh, the video 5k uh, or, or even take part in the video 5k tomorrow uh, Marcus would love to go and get a sub 18 5k um, he says uh, he'll train along with us so yeah um, it's basically marathon training isn't it from from the summer um, but also remember those people running the Paris marathon and the Copenhagen marathon we start marathon training actually in January um, some people have already started marathon training uh, I know Grace Shin has started marathon training with a small group. Um, so uh, we are going to start marathon training with the, the groups that are going to Paris and Copenhagen uh, in January. Um, and I will be at the Paris Marathon. So anybody who still hasn't signed up who wants to come along, there is a big meetup. Lots and lots of people are going to be in Paris or in Copenhagen to run the Paris Marathon and or the Copenhagen Marathon. If you can get there, please do. I will be at Paris. Um, a lot of the ZLDR group will be over in Copenhagen. Uh, so uh, it, that will be awesome. Um, Amy says, looking forward to tomorrow. So is Tina. Um, hopefully uh, costumes will abound. If you are able to take part, um, even if you can't find a costume, just throw some tinsel around yourself and uh, let's see you looking Christmassy uh, for tomorrow's video 5K, 7.30 UK time. Um, I won't be running, Victoria and I will be managing, so hopefully lots of you will be on video. All the instructions are in the Zwift Companion app. If you're worried about the Zoom call and how to log on to the Zoom call, all the instructions are in the Zwift Companion app. You basically just go to a web page. Uh, there is an address um, in the Zwift Companion app. It will tell you what address to go to. Um, just type that address or copy and paste it into Google, and that will bring up the correct zoom meeting you, obviously you must have zoom installed on your computer or on your ipad or your phone um, and obviously we need you to have a camera pointing at your treadmill if you don't want to do that if you just want to run the 5k then that's fine as well come along and just run the 5k uh, but victoria will be managing the video feeds so um, she will select runners to feature on the stream uh, jonathan cost i hope it's not you in tinsels and tinsel and tassels jonathan uh, we will have uh, Carol Rushworth live on the stream with her tassels. I will say no more about that. Just encourage you to come and join us to have a look. Uh, Jean and Amy have finished. Well done, guys. Brilliant work. Uh, so uh, it's just John Freeze, I think, to come in now, is it? Uh, John has uh, 900 metres to go. We'll stay with John. He said he's going he's gonna to bring up the rear and, and spectate from the rear so uh, that's what exactly what he's doing 800 meters left for john to do uh, so any questions uh, anything you want to know um, do pop it in the chat now because uh, we are here uh, till john finishes 800 meters for him to go uh, so yeah if you've got any questions uh, do pop them into the chat there yeah victoria's just asked exactly the same question as me jonathan is it you or uh, is it you or carol in the tassels and the tinsel uh, we will be wearing tinsel and our and our Christmas hats if we can find them. Um, <laughs> John Freeze doesn't have heart rate uh, today, but it's not imperative for this run. Just a bit of fun. Um, the uh, the video 5K was originally, um, as well as being on video, it was, go it was going to try and make it. We were going to try and make it into the de facto 5K race on Zwift because it would weed out people who were um let's say not abiding by the rules fully uh, because it would oh abnormal high heart rate detected oh dear 
abnormally... Look, it's flashing and listen to that. Can you hear it beeping? Actually, it won't, you won't be able to hear it beeping. But my watch is telling me I have an ab abnormally high heart rate detected. Well, what is that then? What is my abnormally high heart rate? Let me have a look. Hundred and eighteen. It's not high, is it? For goodness sake. Goodness sake. Yeah, Darren Van Dit started five minutes late for technical problems. Uh, never mind, Darren. You got there in the end. <coughs> um, yeah. So yeah, what was I saying? We were going. The, the the original idea with the video 5K was to make it the de facto 5K race on Zwift because you can't cheat on it. You'd have to have the, the rules were heart rate, cadence and video so we we needed you on video that was the idea that we would have you on video to prove that you were running as as you know in, in reality you were actually running and then we could see your heart rate and we could see your cadence we could match it all together and prove that you were running what you would say you were running on the treadmill um unfortunately it didn't quite take off like that actually what happened was was just as fun in fact was just as good because it, it made it into a, a fun event where people dressed up um, and they bought their cuddly toys and they brought their pets along and and it was just it ended up being a, just a lot of fun um, but yeah that was the original idea of the video 5k was uh, that it was going to be a, a proper 5k race that we would know every everybody who took part we would know had completed correctly and, and we were going to try and offer prizes for the winners and stuff like that um, but there we are uh, maybe maybe we'll have another go at that uh, sometime in the future. When um, the thing is, people I think people are, are a bit technophobic sometimes, aren't they? And they don't they don't like. Also, maybe they don't like showing their their pain cave on on TV. Uh, and <laughs> bingo, yeah, and bingo, Kim. Yeah, we like playing bingo. Uh, so yeah, that's why I think maybe the video 5K didn't quite take off in the way we we hoped it would. Um, Ryan says, go eat a banana to bring my heart rate down. It wasn't... I minute. Mean, I don't know why it flashed up. It wasn't that high. It's basically just coming down. Maybe... Ah, okay. Maybe it waits five minutes after you've completed an activity. And if your heart rate is over a certain um, setting, it is higher than a certain number after five minutes of no activity, then it warns you your heart rate's high. Anyway, okay. Well, we're not worried about that. Uh, Amy says, yeah, I'm not always a pretty sight on camera. <laughs> yeah, but Amy, you were the one of the regulars. You were always there. Uh, Kim Salt says, I don't like showing how badly I look when I run. Um, doing it every week was tough, says Sarah. Yes. Um, Sarah says, I think once a month is good for something like that. Okay, yeah, maybe we'll think about that. Yes. Uh, it's, it's making... It's, it's encouraging the, the very fast elite, the almost elite runners to come and join that would make it so we could have like two races in one. We could have a very serious 5k shoot off between the best runners on Zwift, the fastest runners on Zwift. Um, as long as they, you know, they're all on camera, they all got heart rate and cadence. And then we could have the rest of us who are not elite all running for fun in dressing up and, you know, doing all that stuff. But yeah, Kim's right. Maybe, maybe um, weekly was too much. Um, Ryan Down, he says about my watch, yeah, don't worry. Um, it's a, war it's just a warning, yeah. Uh, wait until you have armness, uh, arm numbness before you do anything. Uh, John Freeze has finished uh, the Fast 5K. Uh, thank you very much, John, for taking part. Good job. And well done to everybody else who took part today. That was fun. Uh, thank you for joining in. Um, it's never, I mean, I say it was fun. It's never fun when you're in the last mile and you're really hurting. <laughs> it's hard work. Um, so, uh, yeah, but we got there in the end. Um, thank you very much for chatting as well on YouTube and Facebook. Uh, we will see you tomorrow for the video 5K. Christmas Eve, 7.30 UK time, 2.30 East Coast, 11.30 a.m., West Coast America, I think. Uh, so that's that. Uh, and um, we will be live for um, as long as the as long as the, the free Zoom call holds out. Actually, do you know what? I could probably pay for a month, couldn't I? 
I could pay for a month just to just to make sure that we don't run out of time on the on the Zoom call. I think the Zoom call you have about 45 minutes before it cuts out. So maybe maybe I need to just pay for one month to get a uh, to get a full. Yeah, I probably will. Okay, right, that's it. Thank you very much for taking part, everyone, and we'll see you tomorrow. Video 5K, take care. Bye-bye.